And uh, Mark, I tell you what, whatever you're doing, don't change a thing. Keep it, keep mm -hmm. it going, huh? Yeah, yeah it's been yeah. Um, great. You know, we tend to have our flooding events in the winter time, right? Because yeah. we don't tend to get much uh, typically, yeah, sure. in yeah. the summertime. But yeah, j just take. I want to compare. Remember the last time we had a huge flood here, 1996, February 1996. It's been 28 years, hard to believe. But you can see all these uh, stream and river gauges all still running well above average. Most of the rivers have receded, but kind of the center of all the action here for flooding. Uh, Asheville, North Carolina, two rivers come together right there. So Portland, in 1996, we had seven inches of rain in four days. Asheville, now this is in the city, there was more in the mountains around, had double that in three days. So 14 inch, over a foot of rain in three days. If we were to have that here, yeah, we would be seeing the same scene. So this was just, uh, I like to say, kind of a biblical sort of event there in Asheville, North Carolina. And uh, yeah, we've spent 28 years since we've had a big flood. At some point, we will have another big flood again. We will see um, which, when it happens. All right, so Chinook Winds Beach Camp. Look at that beautiful view. Northwest looking really nice right now. 71 degrees there. Mount Hood looking a little uh, naked there. Not much snow left, but that always happens right at the end of September before the first snow. It was cold this morning, 44 in the city. That was our coldest morning in about four months. Some of us in the 30s. Tomorrow morning, not quite as cold, but it will still be chilly tomorrow morning. Now, there are no weather systems nearby. Everything's going by to the north. We do think one little wiggle in the uh, jet stream, though, will come through tomorrow evening, and that'll give us some cloud cover and maybe a few showers. The jet stream, this just kind of shows what's going on up around 30,000 feet. Notice it's all north of us. It's up there, it's just north of the border most of the time over the next week, week and a half. Here's a little, a little wiggle goes through on Friday. That could give us a shower. And we're thinking first kind of glance at next weekend. Looks good. That's the first weekend of October. All right, so then the cloud cover, I mentioned somebody might see a shower tomorrow afternoon. It's tomorrow, 3, 4, 5 p.m. There could be some light showers on the north coast or the south Washington coastline. Could there be a sprinkle in Portland tomorrow evening? Tiny chance as this system goes over. Better chance maybe a few sprinkles in the uh, Cascade foothills. And we're back to all sunshine, mainly sunshine, uh, Wednesday and Thursday. So tomorrow looks just like today. No east wind. We won't get the breezy east wind that some of you felt. Uh, I think it'll be a real warm commute, about 70, so maybe up 3 or 4 degrees from today. Maybe a sprinkle tomorrow evening. Small chance. I got to tell you, though, this first week of October, that's what you're seeing here. Most of these temperatures above average, not like crazy warm, no records, but just consistently warm and dry with maybe some showers Friday afternoon and some clouds from time to time. Pretty nice. Nora, Pete. Yeah, pretty